and a busy Wembley after their victory over Romania, Ireland scrum half Owen Redden spoke to us, beginning by praising the contributions of centre Jared Payne. He's a um, very consistent player and um, you know his uh, like he does all, all his basics extremely well, which is kind of what you need to do in this team and um, you know he's been playing very well. Um, fits in, makes the guys around him look really well and um, you know, when the wingers are, are, are looking good every week, it's, it's probably because boys in the middle are doing well um, in terms of uh, 12 and 13. And um, Kevin and Jarbo played very well today and, 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 and did that for them. Yeah, look, I think, you know, we're all, uh, everyone's just keen to play. And as a group, we've been working very hard together. So combinations should work really well. You know, people are working very hard at, um, at training and making sure that they gel when we, when we get out there. And I think that's been a feature right across the team, really, to be fair. Um, everyone's slotted in well with each other. There's a lot of new combinations. Um, I'm sorry they would look like new accommodations when they're playing, but I suppose they've gone through things so much in training that um, it's really well, it should be well oiled and, and looking good on, on the day. You know. What do you expect from Italy, and have you yourself caught any of their games so far? And if so, what did you make of them? Yeah, we've hey? seen we've only seen just edge past Canada, of course, which yeah. was a bit of a story almost. Yeah, I think Canada played very well uh, in that game, and Italy probably were off the boil. Um, in some ways, I was watching it thinking. It's probably not the best result for us for next week. Um, Italy still got their win and we're probably annoyed with the way they played, which means they'll come out all the harder next week. And um, I suppose for them, they've probably been looking at this game since the start of their pre-season, knowing that this is the game they need to win um, to progress through to the quarterfinals. So um, I expect they'll throw everything at us next week and we'll have to be in a position where we can throw everything at them too. And you mentioned the quarterfinals. Of course, I'm sure you'll be aware you'd be playing a side from Pool C. One would think it's hard to imagine New Zealand and or Argentina not progressing from that pool. Did you watch their clash here last Sunday? And if so, what were your thoughts on it? Yeah, we did watch them. But um, our thoughts last Sunday were on Romania, to be honest, um, 100%. Um, I just watched it like I watched the game last night, for example. So... Uh, you know, we can think about that when we get to that point, but at the moment, like Italy have an extra day ahead of us preparing for this game, so we'll have to work very hard. Um, you know, tomorrow morning we'll probably try and get cracking and get ready for uh, what's going to be the biggest game we've had so far and a very, very important game to, you know, have any future at all. And what particular threats do you think Italy offer that you've got in the gate? Uh, I think they've got a good set piece. Um, you know, Paris is due to arrive back on Monday. Um, you know, and there's individuals. They've got guys like Sato who, who you know, can finish a try for the length of the pitch. Um, you know, um, Campanero has been playing well as well. I just think they have a few good guys who can break a game up very easily, and I used to be very well prepared for all of them. And um, so it's going to be a tough, tough game.